Howdy! My name is Oatmeal Ent, and welcome back to Let's Play EU4 Russia. We've united Russia and noticed an opportunity to get in a war with the Livonian Order where all of our allies would join us. And as a result, we're probably just going to try to pick off a couple provinces. We picked off this guy, this province, from the Papal States. And we've taken a chunk out of Finland from what then was Sweden and now is a united Denmark monster. We really have to hope that they don't like make Scandinavia or whatever. I think that probably would make them even more powerful than they are. Lithuanian order. Oh, excuse me. Declared war in Lithuania, and then we got Poland involved in this war. The only reason they're not just like rolling over is that Austria is. Um. Austria is being a little bit of a. If we concede defeat, will they take this? No. Mm -mm. Um, I don't really know what to do about the whole Austria thing. I don't want to fight with Austria, but... I guess France and Portugal declared war on... Eh, yeah, someone. And Austria joined that war, so maybe then Austria won't be so much of a problem. Poland is taking a beating for us. They've lost tons of troops. I'm fine with that. Like I said in the last video, Poland is just as likely to side with us as they are with Lithuania if a war were to break out between the two of us. So, wow, these guys are not doing so hot. It's fine. I mean, I'm not excited about the Crimea doing better, but... I am excited about any provinces that these guys lose to the Reds and the Blues because the Reds and the Blues aren't going to attack me. What's going on here? I see, so this troops not allied with me, Lithuanian and Hungarian troops, are fighting these troops. And Austria is not at war with Lithuania. Austria must not have military access through Lithuania. That's got to be it, because they haven't they haven't come up here to mess with me yet. What? I'm having problems with uh, meh, some sort of Protestant in this province up here. Boy, that's. Mm, that's 25 years. Okay, for 25 years we are unlikely to be able to convert this back. Okay. This is a problem that's very prevalent in um, Christian nations, or Catholic nations, or... I didn't realize it was also a problem in Orthodox. Thought maybe I would be spared. I'm gonna send these troops back over here. I don't want anybody getting any ideas picking off that small stack. So Poland does have military access through Lithuania. We knew that. A peace offer from these guys. So I'm gonna wait until they've been occupied. Oh, they'll pay me 27 ducats, will they? No. Um. I don't have any war score. How am I getting things out of them? Thought you needed at least 10 war score to, you know. I really don't want them as a vassal. Right, what, I'd, what I'd love is if they... 
do I do I actually do I actually care if they are annexed by these guys? Wait, the Munz Munster are Dutch? They're Dutch and they're Rhinelander? Well, they have some pretty nice accepted cultures. They, they can take over a lot with that, I think. I don't know for sure, but maybe. You could definitely take over this province from Austria. Hmm. I really don't know what, what to do here. Should I take this 27 ducats, or should I get this province to these guys? They're good allies. They've joined every war. They were willing to join the war against Lithuania. I'm going to go with decline. I'm going to try to make them strong to help me balance against this Denmark beast. <laughs> Look at this, Poland. So, the question is, do we want to keep this guy? Yeah, I'm going to go with yes, because we're not gaining the eight Republican tradition per year. We need to, we need to go, we're going to go ahead and gain it now. He's not a bad military leader, better than the last couple. Uh -huh. Yeah, you can go ahead and leave. Oh, I think we decided this was the province for us, but... You know, this is a better province this year. Oh, this is our capital, though. Mm. So, I think this province, nope, not quite fully sieged. Who to improve relationships with now? We're improving relationships with these guys. Mm. We're gonna do something with Bohemia. They're pretty big. So. Venice is pretty big. Ooh, missionary strength. That could be useful. Go ahead and pick up missionary strength. Now that means that my revolt risk guy is gone. So there's going to be some revolts now. Yeah, 33% chance per month that Russian particulists are going to have a revolt. Understand. Polish, Lithuanian. Poland still has the lead there. Let me go ahead and. Okay. Now they'll give me 72 ducats. That's a lot better deal. I am still in debt. 72 ducats, or give this province to. Ooh, Bohemia declared war on Austria. Sweet! I knew Bohemia was the right people to be increasing my relationships with. That's ever if Poland drops out of the alliance. Bohemia is the one that, that I'm going. I'm going to go ahead and accept this deal. That's a lot of gold for, like, nothing. Munster mad at me for that? No, see, they, they're not. That's just spectacular. Anybody else want to buy out for some money? Not these guys. Hmm. I wonder if one, if one could do this on purpose. Like, declare wars with the intent of gaining monies through alliances. Money's is actually a word. My realtor says it all the time. 
No clue why. When he, when he should be saying money, he says monies. Monies would be like money from multiple sources. But when the money's coming from one source, it's still money, not monies. Pomerania, they're not allied with me, but they're at war with these guys. Poor Teutonic Order, Teutonic Order, they were quite strong a while back, controlling this pressure, this pressure. But... Not anymore. Ooh, lots of people declaring on Austria. So this is good for a variety of reasons. One, I'm at war with Austria. Two, if you look at the score... Austria is beating me. Now my Japan Let's Play Austria is really beating me. Austria is second to France. But anything that would knock these guys down a peg and bring up some other small German group would be fine. Not really at the point where I can like be a competitor for score though, so. Now where did this guy come from? I think he came from like here. Better for him to be here, though. Collecting trade from here. Well, I'm directing trade up this way, but more powerful or directing trade that way. And all the money is coming this way, so a little bit of it's going this way. I guess collecting trade from 3.8, but I have full power over here. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead. And I'll get more powerful over here when I take these provinces, but... No reason to not be at war, either. I mean, sure, I'm gaining some war readiness, I think. Nope. So there's really just no reason to not be at war right now, that I can think of. I guess, um, this is occupied by Pol- oh, good. This place is a cord now. It's cord now. Um... I can make this a core. I'd forgotten because... I'd forgotten because I uh, had just... converted it. I didn't remember. Let's see... No provinces. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Now I don't know exactly what I'm gonna fight for here. What, what, what piece I'm gonna take. Maybe that, that, maybe this too. How much gold do they have? Not a lot. Yeah, I'll probably take those three. Don't, don't want to get too overextended. These are all coastal, so I'll be able to core them. The only province I wouldn't be able to core is that one over there. And that didn't do as much for my war score as I thought it would. But let's see. They'll give me this piece. That's all I kind of want. Um, not a lot of hate. Poland won't dislike me that much more. It's because of this uh, Casas Bella that I used. Only getting 25% aggressive expansion because of this Casas Bella. That's amazing. Just, just so amazing. We all need to consider this idea group that gave me this, the diplomatic idea group. Especially if you're, like, not a monarchy. Mm. Cool. We're going with it. You might ask why I don't want more. It's not because I'm not greedy. Very greedy. Isn't it I don't want more is... I'm about to hit the 50, um, at which some bad things start happening, and I'm also afraid that if I take more, the aggressive, I didn't, I guess I should have thought about it, but the aggressive expansion was so much lower than it normally would be, but when you get too much aggressive expansion, you end up in a situation where other people just start declaring on you for what looks like no reason, but the reason is because you just aggressively expanded too fast. 
So this should give me uh, better trade power in this trade zone. See, I can't send them to this place because the religious zeal is just too strong. It's only 17 months to convert this place, so... Wow, even with, even with, even with missionary strength guy and like all sorts of ideas that... Wow. That's crazy. Thought maybe I would be able to convert the Protestants or the reform or whatever with the religious zeal because I have so much... Hmm, I didn't think about it, but the reason I guess not to get out of the war with the Livonian Order is who's going to take these provinces? Probably Lithuania. Lithuania, my enemy, Lithuania. If I declare on them now, who will join? Still only Munster. Well. Poland won't join, but we don't really care about Poland. See, the thought to the end is because of that war we just got out of, and it was a war that I started. So instead of doing the call willing allies, which will break my alliance with Poland, which I don't want, I'll just do a separate call to arms. Question is, do I even do this? They're Protestants, so Austria won't, won't join them. No, I think I wait. I'm only one tech from doing this. I think I wait and I westernize before I... I don't know what that was all about. Before I uh, go to war with them. Now it is actually kind of a good idea because I don't have that much trade power in the Baltic Sea. I'm gonna go ahead and send my guys over these guys to go ahead and the Baltic Sea so that I can get a little bit more trade power. So if Kazan left the military coalition against us... What just happened? Kazan... They left the coalition against us, so now if we declare war on Lithuania... Yeah, this is so much better cause this ballot. Go with this. If we did this... Maybe Poland would join? These guys would definitely join. Okay, well, these guys would definitely join. I'm just, yeah, I'm just gonna wait. I'm just gonna be patient. That's, that's, that's the lesson of this, of this game. You wanna win? You saw the wars I was in. I was so bogged down in wars I was at war without a single... Things just changed. Things just very much changed. These guys seem pretty preoccupied with... Who are they? Where are they? Who's back in... Well, these aren't very strong. Especially considering these are in multiple wars. They're in a war with... Well, isn't that weird? They're in a war together? Well, they're in a, both in a war with these guys and then they're in a war with each other. Talk about crabs in a bucket pulling each other down, littles. Um... So... Pull? Hmm... Pull, pull, pull. Hmm. I'm gonna wait just a little bit to see if Poland pulls me into this war. But, yeah. Okay, so 60 days, we're gonna wait. 60 days. 
And then after that... We're gonna declare on Lithuania. Did the Ottomans join this way? No. So it's just... Um, these, but... That's enough, isn't it? If I declared now, would England join? No. Munster would, I don't know how many boats they have to get over here. But this is, this is my opportunity, probably. Okay, wait, wait just a few more days. I need 60 days for, for Poland to have, to call me in to the Crimea War. Ah, oh, they are at war with the Ottomans. Bam! That means I'm definitely going in. Now what, they're at 12, what am I at? I'm at 12. I can westernize. Hmm. Ah, such decisions, decisions. <coughs> yeah, excuse me. Go to war with Lithuania. We're gonna use our awesome CB on this province. And I will independently call Munster. Poland didn't auto join, so maybe Poland won't be against us. Weird. Well, I, I didn't really need Munster to join. And this is my chance. Uh, I'm gonna put this guy in control. And 16 versus 29. Oh, crap. I don't have military access. So I can't attack them. Considering I've used that trick many times. <laughs> I don't really blame... Lithuania, so much. So what we're gonna do is this is this is the blah blah. Of, yeah. So we're gonna take our war goal and then start the ticking war score and then we're gonna figure out where to go. We don't have any war exhaustion, right? I didn't think we'd gained any in that past war. So now. Is there, like, any chance that they'll give me military access? No. No. Well, that's your mistake. I would have saved your bacon. I wonder... I wonder, I wonder... If I split these guys... send just two littles over here. Will Lithuania send these 17 out to smack me? Or are they not that dumb? I really don't know how dumb they are. It says that on hard difficulty the AI will play to its best of its ability. Well, I guess they pieced out. What did they take? Just this province? That's acceptable. No, 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 no. You don't actually think that your 17 can beat my 29. I, I'm at the same military level as you. No, okay, they don't actually. Do that. Call to arms from our allies and... The conflict is with... Yes. Well, it looks like they're about to lose the... Osberg. Well, Hens isn't really that big of a threat. This must be Osberg. Mm -hmm. No, oh, that's the Hansa. Osprey? Um. 
legs. Back. Awesome. Some tiny little German place. Yep, some tiny little German place. First, and this. And who else is in this one? And so. Yeah, okay. Maybe England will join it too, and then we'll improve relations with England. Denmark declared war on this place. Okay, I don't really know why. I guess they got a CB from this. Yep. Well, okay. That's actually good. That'd give them a border with Poland, so... If they took it. And Poland is still my ally? I'm at war with Poland? Oh, balls. Poland. Why? Told you defensive wars are the best. Um Kazan wants military access. War with yeah. Okay. They're at war with Lithuania, so. How are they at war with more than their masters are? It's vassal of Crimea, but Crimea is not at war with all the things they are. Never understand some of the aspects of this game. They're trying to merge up in this, my capital. But I can, uh, I can catch these troops before they merge. Mm, sounds wise. So how many of them survived? They're retreating to Kiev, which is here. I'm gonna go ahead and keep sieging this province. Hungary. It's allies with. Hmm. When are the Ottomans in Crimea gonna gonna get over here and? Kill some enemies. Really don't know. Oh, take. <coughs> Excuse me. Take this is a is an as a quest or a mission. That's great because I'm gonna take this. This is like awesome. It's like my war goal taking it. So I'll, I'll pick that up when I'm about to take it in peace. And Denmark is already at war with someone else, so I'm not so worried about them declaring on me. Looks like I, I lost my alliance with Poland, but I still have my alliances with these two. Wow. Oh, I see. Ten of those are Venetian, but still. They did not know what they were getting into. Yeah, just taking this province, this is the war goal, right? I'm just gonna check one more time. Just taking that province, and then... You know, I'm... Uh, I probably will be able to siege through that province.
I wish I had vision of what these guys were doing. Hmm. So we talked about this, the trial, blah blah blah. Well, I gotta wonder. I don't think that I'm gonna be able to spend my diplomatic points on another tech, am I? Probably be able to spend my military. Uh, no, probably won't. We're gonna go ahead and withdraw. I don't. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and withdraw. Same reason. I, I do think westernizing soon would be good. I think in order to do this, though, you've got to be at peace. No, you don't. I think it's probably wise to be at peace because when you westernize, because you'll have a lot of. Uh, Revolt issues. So, we had to take this opportunity to declare our Lithuania. Like I thought, Poland sided against us. Okay. Like I thought, Poland did side against us. So, when I said I was happy about Poland getting its ass whooped by um, Austria a while back, even though they were our allies, I was like, well... At best, it's going to be 50-50. At, at worst, well... At worst... I, th I actually think more realistically, they, they just are going to side with Lithuania. They're the same religion, same culture type, I think. So... Just like them more. So I could send them here. I guess I'm gonna have to pay this 28 months at some point anyway, so I might as well do it. And... Yeah, let's just make sure I'm coring everything that can be cored. Yep, okay. Now as for what to do with uh, my diplomat, I'm actually going to improve relations with Primaria. Like I said, I'm not going down there. I have no interest in all these Sunni provinces. The only reason I took these provinces up here is that I wanted access to this province because it'll be the first one that I want to colonize and only this place would give me pro access to this province. And They also had low base taxes so I could convert them eventually. But Primaria is just... Blech. Blech. Aside from this province, I don't want any of their provinces. I would really like this province though, but you know, whatever. High base tax, right? Five base tax from the important center of trade. Yeah, yeah I would take this one. <laughs> But, none of the other provinces. Wow, how did they manage to convert this with just 15 base tax? Must be an event that converts it to Sunni. It's an amazing province. Whoa. There must be an event that converts, like, all X cores of the Ottomans, I mean of Byzantines, into Sunni. Because there's no way you could convert a 15 base tax, ever. And it gets... Wow, it gets a plus 20% for just being Constantinople. Would have thought at least that they'd have to lose being Constantinople. It's Istanbul. Once it's Sunni. Wow, uh, kind of looks like they got their ass kicked. Hope at least they took some with them. Gee. So the provinces that I want... Now Belarus is East Slavic, so because I'm Russian, they'll be considered what I would really take, if I could just choose, would be these provinces. With priority given to... the ones that make valuable things. So, kind of not those. Maybe this one. And, uh... This one. These two. So because I'm giving priority to those two, I'm actually just going to run over there and take them so that I can always get them in peace. What are these? Oh, Danish troops? Yeah. Like I said, I would be happy if Denmark did this. 
I care very little for the Teutonic Order. Uh, whoa, what the f is going on? I forgot I had boats. Uh, well, if I win this, um, probably not going to win this, am I? Yeah, probably not. Let's see, if I do, I'm going to retreat the boats to port. Because if, even if I do win this, the odds that I'm going to win future ones are less. Unless. So they did. They took Danzig. Which means that they now have border clash problems with Poland. So Poland, if I manage to make an alliance with them again. Uh, yeah, probably unlikely. If I manage to make an alliance with them again, though, they will dislike Denmark quite a bit. That's great. I wonder why I'm not splitting these troops up. That's kind of silly. I, I can definitely, I can definitely afford to do this. There's no way Lithuania has military access through the Livonian Order. Livonian Order hates them, so that means they're going to have to go through this province. So I can go ahead and split them up and send them over there. Will these boats just disappear? Please tell me these boats have have an ability to retreat. They're retreating. Good. That all being said, I think it's probably time to take a little break here. Um, I think I'll probably record another video right after this, so I'll be right back, and you can join me whenever you tune in.